All right, once again, I'm comparing the sound of five different linear switches, all five of which use cherry retooled linear bottom housings, uh, PCB mount. They all have Revo white springs and linear stems. And then I'm varying the top. I have five different switch tops that I'm comparing the sound of. This time I've gone back and carefully lubed each of the switches with Tribosys 3204. I lubed the bottom housing rails, the bottom of the bottom housing where the spring touches, the both the outside and inside surfaces of the spring guide, and the leaf contact where it touches the stem. And then I also lubed all surfaces of the stem, including the post and the inner recessed surface on the back side of the stem where the spring touches. And so now we can hear how lube affects the sound and do the comparison over again, which kind of is a better comparison for me because anyway I'm not going to use these switches unlubed, I'm going to use them lubed. So this is really a, a more true to life comparison of what they would sound like if I would use them in a build. interesting so to my ear the sound of all five switches is greatly improved <coughs> greatly improved by the lube um, they all sound pretty good to me I still prefer these three which uh, are the Utemu no slot top the uh, Revo white slash Gateron milky top and the panda top For me, this one, K, which is the Gateron lens top, uh, the sound is improved enough to where I actually like the way this one sounds now, and I didn't like how it sounded before without lube. So I think it's important to do these kind of tests with lube. It really makes a difference. But I still think I like F best, which is the Utemu 
no slot top. It just seems so subdued and it's kind of it's a little bit quieter to my ear, or at least kind of uh, muffled. Maybe because it doesn't have a hole for the sound to leak through. I'm not sure, but I also like the fact that it feels really stable. I don't feel any wobble on this switch. Um, you can actually see the difference in the wobble. Um, I think both the Sky Top and the Utemo No Slot Top are both probably lower wobble than, say, a regular Gateron Clear Top. Uh, or like a zeal or an alias top, but I uh, haven't really checked closely. Um, but let's see, you might be able to see here if I reposition the camera a little bit. Let's focus. So here's a Gateron lens top. There's a little bit of wobble. Maybe I should use this tool. It's kind of hard to see. There you can see the wobble. Got a pretty, pretty good amount of wobble. Here's the sky top. It has virtually no vertical wobble. It has a little bit of side to side play is what it has. So that's kind of different. Very little vertical play compared to the Gateron. And uh, has almost no horizontal play, but the vertical play is more than the Utemu Sky Top, I think. It feels like it a little bit more. Of course, here's the here's the uh, Gateron Milky Top. This one, pretty low wobble. Yeah, this one's uh, similar to the Sky Top, I would say. Maybe a little more wobble. And then there's this guy right here, which is I'm not getting any horizontal wobble. I'm not getting any vertical wobble. So this one is basically no wobble. <laughs> so after having done this comparison, I will most likely be building my next linear keyboard with this combination.